For today, it's once again shorts and t-shirt weather later on this afternoon. No 80 degree high temperature for today like what we had yesterday, but we are still going to warm up very unseasonably warm for today. We're going to warm up into the mid 70s for this afternoon. Comfort index in 8 out of 10. We're going to have the breeze up and maybe a stray brief sprinkler. Very light shower anytime after 3 p.m. Look at our wind gusts for this Tuesday where we do first alert ahead to the breeze that's going to be up. Some wind gusts around 20 miles per hour and due to the dry ground as well, uh, please to limit any outdoor burning several burn bans in effect for many Michiana counties. Of course, always check with your local uh, fire department or your local uh, government uh, before you do any outdoor burning. And as we head on tomorrow, we're going to be looking at some wind gusts tomorrow up in that 30 mile per hour mark at times during the morning and early afternoon time frame. Our next system off to our west right now and as this works its way closer towards the Great Lakes states, most of this is going to fizzle on out outside of a stray sprinkler, very brief light shower after 3 p.m. Most of the day just dry, warm, and breezy through a good chunk of this Tuesday. And most of the day likely going to stay rather on the bright side as well. Just a few thin clouds at times. We really won't see our clouds really thicken up until we commute home from work and school later on today. And here we are paused at 3 p.m. Notice heater check trying to highlight one or two little green dots showing on up. A very brief light shower. We're talking maybe a brief five minute window where one or two communities could have either a brief light shower or a stray sprinkle. And then we quiet down the weather for midweek for Wednesday and cooler temperatures down into the low 60s for tomorrow afternoon. Tomorrow's our today's shower chance. Very light, just a sip of water. Most of us again stay dry, but one or two communities may briefly just have one one hundredth of an inch into the rain gauge. And then we slide down our temperatures midweek Wednesday right into the Thursday with high temperatures down into the lower 60s over the next 72 hours. Our next system with first alert weather feeder track is going to show up towards the end of this week where we continue to first alert that our greatest rain chance during the work and school week will likely happen during the Friday morning commute hours where we could be looking at a few downpours as we head off to both work and school to finish off this week. We'll play this out further and we'll also take a look at some rainfall amounts for this next system coming up in first alert weather. Not enough to make my grass grow though, right? No. Okay, good, because I'm done with the lawn. In fact, yeah, my lawnmower is now broken. It said I'm done. <laughs> Thanks so much. See you next year, maybe. You know, and it's Leaves are falling. We yeah. all like a good day of raking. <laughs> so, Do we? <laughs> well, get the neighbor kids. Yeah. Right? Except for today and tomorrow's wind. Not going to be the best. Well, yeah, we'll anymore, just but. wait. We'll uh, wait till you tell yeah. us. Let the wind take it right. to the next house. No, seriously, right? that's my goal. Every I don't pay for leaf pickup. <laughs> that's that's my around. wish every Someone year. Go, that go, the go. neighbor will. <laughs> yeah. All right, thank you, Andrew. Hey, new details. Federal student loan payments for some 8 million borrowers will remain on pause.